Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus H. Christ, this game's loud. I've turned the volume down so you should be able to hear me, but nevertheless, it's still very loud. <laughs> How you doing? It's Alexander Hilly123 here, and it's time for a new video. As you can see from the title, as you can see from the video in front of you today, I play EA Hockey. This is on the Sega Mega Drive slash Sega Genesis, and this was released, I believe, in 1991. Now, we've done many ice hockey videos on the channel before. I did a fully fledged Let's Play twice on NHL 94, the greatest ice hockey game ever, and one of the greatest sports games ever made. Absolutely amazing. Never ending fun, and always a game I return to. Now, I do have plans to bring NHL PA 93 to the channel. I did do a one off video of that many, many years ago. We're talking well over a decade now, 12, 13 years ago. Um, but I said I'd never do a Let's Play because the game's harder, and it is harder than 94. But it's not about the winning, it's about the taking part. And as such, next year, we are going to bring in a uh, fully fledged NHL PA. Listen to this music! Holy shit, that's very 90s. But, uh, yeah, we're going to bring NHL PA 93 to the channel next year. Um, no licensing with that game, so the official logos and all that shit ain't on the game, but I'm a fan of the Pro Evolution Soccer Football game, so that doesn't really bother me. There's no one time as an NHL PA 93, like there is a 94, but it's still highly playable and a lot of fun. They're all amazing and they're all right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But the reason that I wanted to bring this to the channel and put it in the classics is one, I've never done a playthrough of this game before. Well, we're not doing a playthrough of it. I've never shown it on the channel. This is the first, this is where it all began, ladies and gentlemen. And here in Europe, it was EA Hockey with international teams. And I don't know if other places around the world got this version, but in North America, it was, I think, NHL 91. So it's the same music and all that shit, but it is NHL teams. And you've got the official logos, I think. Being in the EU, I've never seen it. I bet there's a download for it online, but never. I've seen it on YouTube a while ago, but yeah. This this music is absolutely absurd. But quite simply, ladies and gentlemen, alongside Sonic the Hedgehog, this is the first ever video game that I played in December 1995 as a six-year-old, and yeah, a lot of memories. Absolutely adore work these old hockey games. This is still a classic. This is where it started. It's 91, but it's very draconian. This game is a lot easier and more mechanically simplistic than an HLPA 93 and 94. And if you don't agree, well, have you played them? You've got to agree. There's just no subjectivity about it. It's just a lot faster and it's not as good. But it's still nice to see where it started. Now, we're going to have a quick five minute game. What were they thinking with this music? They're on summer, I'll tell you that. Popping some ecstasy, I think. Let's just pick the teams randomly. Who they're going to be. I'm not looking as this happens. I usually have line changes on, but there's no tactical element to this game, I think. Oh, look at this. Well then. <laughs> In the modern day, I would have thought that Finland were better than Germany, but in this game, they're the same as each other. And... For some reason, the game's controls aren't working, are they? Are the game's controls working? No, they're not. Shoot's working, but nothing else is working. Awesome, okay, so... I'm using the Kega Fusion emulator here, ladies and gentlemen. For many, many years, I was using the Gens emulator. Uh, how the hell do I even change the controls on this piece of shit? Obviously done it before, but I can't... Oh, set config, there we go. Yeah, it's been a lot of to and fro in with all my emulators recently. Mod, whatever, six button controller. I configured that for Mortal Kombat recently. Alright, we should be rocking and rolling now. But if I do lose, then I'm just going to blame that issue there. But yeah, Finland, holy shit. One of the best, <laughs> there you go. One of the best teams in high hockey. Ice hockey, not high hockey. And I'm happy to be them. When I was younger, when I was a kid on this game, I always used to play as the Soviet Union. And 
was told many times growing up that I'm a dictator. I enjoyed being the Soviet Union, and yes, indeed, that's how freaking old this game is, ladies and gentlemen. You've got Yugoslavia, I mean, a few other countries of that nature. Oh, I'll look when the game's finished. There is Great Britain, absolutely shit, but this game, it's, as you've seen, very easy. You can run into the goaltender, score a goal. So far, the passing goal has been very easy as well in NHL PA 93 and NHL 94. The puck bounces off your stick. It's, it happens in this game, but probably less so. This is just so fast and frenetic. The, it, it's not good, is what I'm saying. It's too fast and frenetic, of course. Ice hockey is a fast sport, but I think that NHL PA 93 and 94 show what ice hockey is all about more so than this game. But what a great starting point, and obviously this game has still got very fun gameplay, but they honed it down and just made it a lot more engaging. They made it more difficult, entertaining, and um, yeah. With NHL PA 93 and 94, I always play with offsides on and line changes. Most people don't do that. And when you do do that, it slows the game down. It makes it harder for sure. People just get annoyed by the offsides, but you know, I just like to adhere to those rules and play the game the way that ice hockey truly is in real life. I haven't played this game properly in many, many years. I just had an idea of making this video, and I've got a little announcement to make Ooh, at the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like the old style of Alexander Hilly videos from well over 10 years ago, when I did the classics, you want to maybe stick around to the end. You might be excited. You probably won't be, but I don't give a shit. But yeah, this is just so damn easy, and if I wanted to, I could win this 15-0, and obviously, that's not fun. And it would not really make much of a difference if I was playing as Great Britain against one of the best teams in the game, such as Canada or Soviet Union. It's just a shame, but it is very easy. Still absolutely absurd fun if you're playing with someone else, though, as all the old NHL games are. With this game, I think it might be slower if I added um, line changes. I'm not sure. Could obviously test it out after this video. Oh, 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 some big body checks there. The A button in this game doesn't do anything. I don't know if it was NHL PA 93 or 94 where the A button can flip the puck in the air. It's basically to dump the puck as they call it uh, and that um, is to waste time essentially. Ooh, Germany only got a goal. Now here's something, I don't know if I ever spoke about this and I'm just going off a little, a little tangent here as we get towards the second half of the game now, but when I was a kid playing this on the Sega Mega Drive, now any of you older guys will know the difference back in the day between PAL and NTSC. Um, the PAL versions of all the same games, they ran slightly slower. There is a YouTube video on it and exactly why that is the case. And it goes into quite a lot of depth. And if you're as sad as me, you might find it interesting. I find it really intriguing. I can't remember why. It's something to do with the electricity companies in, in the EU, Europe. Um, back in the 90s and why the games are just slightly slower. So basically the audio on all their games is slower. So when I play like the Sonic games now, for example, in the modern day, playing an either emulator or I've got all the old Sonic games on my Xbox, for example, it's faster music than what I, oh my lord, than what I grew up with. I hope. The fights in this game, you can't lose them. Look, back and forth, back and forth, it's easy. It's so dumb.
and the computer doesn't go back and forth. In NHL PA 93, the fights are a lot better. You go across the ice left and right, you can easily lose them. But they don't happen often, but definitely in terms of fights, NHL PA 93 is where it's at. This game, it's a joke, it's too easy. And NHL 94, of course, there's no fighting involved. And if you don't want the fights at all, or you can't turn them off, it's probably best not to do that what I do, which is antagonise the AI by knocking them over because they'll retaliate and there'll be fights all the freaking time with this game, trust me. Whereas with NHL PA 93, it doesn't happen that often. No. Oh, I was talking about something. I thought. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, that's it. This music. This music was a lot slower. But this is the thing. It didn't matter to me. Because all the music that's like, I don't know, 20, 25% slower, it still sounds awesome. I think the music sounds better, pal, when it's slower. And uh, I think there's videos out there, especially with the Sonic games, because it's obviously the mascot of the Mega Drive, like the music. And there's a lot of people saying, whoa, I'll tell you what, this slower version is actually pretty cool. It's what we grew up with. But my tangent here is that, obviously, the audio, the intro theme... The music that plays in this game, the only real music. Whoa, <laughs> heads up. It's a lot faster in the NTSC version. But when I played this on the Mega Drive in the 90s, in, get the cotton cotton buds out, ladies and gentlemen, get the wax out your ears, because I'd love someone's advice with this, or someone's idea as to why this was the case, because it's something that I've never been able to let go of in my head. But as you see, this game is in colour, needless to say. But every time I played the old NHL games, every single ice hockey game that I ever played, my Mega Drive, was in black and white. So, the teams were like washed out colours, there were no colour whatsoever. But sometimes you saw the colour flicker into life. So I was like, and I used to get excited, I'd be like, oh, it's starting to become colourful. And it didn't matter, I changed the gameplay, and once in a blue moon, like once, I don't know, every couple of months, the colour would work, and then it'd stop again. You, now, was there something wrong with the Mega Drive? But if so, absolutely, I, I had tons of different games. No other game did that. It's 10. Only hockey games did it. Now, is it because it's an EA game and they were an North American company? But then again, I had the FIFA games, they didn't do it. But yeah, all my Mega Drive ice hockey games are in black and white, and I don't know why. This game was released, obviously, when because there was two systems of Mega Drive, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know. Mega Drive 1 and Mega Drive 2. I had both. <clears throat> when I was older, when the Mega Drive had stopped being made in my teens, I got a Mega Drive 2. But that, that didn't matter, because this game was released before Mega Drive 2. So, anybody got any ideas in the chat, I'd love to hear it. But it's something that I've always been perplexed by, because obviously on this emulator now, it's in colour. Of course it's in colour. What made it not work in colour? It's something that I've always wrapped my brains about, but never been able to really understand. So, if anybody technical is in the comments, make me very happy and tell me what the hell was going on. Because I still play the game regardless. And black and white but yeah this game it's the blueprint of an incredible series I had to bring it to the classics because I've never done a video on this game at all for the channel and along with the first Sonic first ever game I played but it isn't great fun to play in a way because it's just too way too easy there's no challenge whatsoever I could play using Great Britain probably the worst team in the freaking game against Canada and I would destroy the AI. The fights aren't as good. The game's too quick. Um, yeah, it's, it's the blueprint. Still fun. Great with a friend. But NHL PA 93 and 94 are the best. 28 shots to 7. Look at that. Now let's just have a look here. Finland, France are okay. I guess Germany, Hungary. This is obviously 1991. So <laughs> bear that in mind. Iceland are decent on this game. Luxembourg. Netherlands, Norway, pretty decent. Poland are awful. I thought they'd be decent. Portugal, Soviet freaking Union. Lads dream. <laughs> they're very good. Spain, Sweden are pretty good. 
Switzerland, I can't remember. United Kingdom is not Great Britain. United Kingdom, absolutely atrocious. USA, very good. Yugoslavia, they had. Canada, A. Eh? Czechoslovakia showing this game's age. Holy shit, Denmark. Uh, we're back round again. So with this game, you needed, with all the Mega Drive games, you either code. These days, if you had a real Mega Drive, you could just take a picture of the code, but you just have to write it down. All people watching this video know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to continue playing, but let's just start. This video is only going 15 minutes. We'll continue another 5 10 minutes, guys. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Who are we? That's not bass. United Kingdom, the United States are at the bottom, oh dear lord. Ooh, look at all those Scandinavian teams at the top left. Goodness gracious. Hungary, Czechoslovakia would be an interesting one. And as you can see, Poland are very shit. Here we are, Soviet Union of Poland. The Soviet Union. Oh, this brings me back, goodness gracious. And as you can see, you can see the line changes now. And as you can also see, I've scored within <laughs> a split second. No difficulty. Now I'm cha Look, I'm choosing my lines there. When your players get tired, the white line, for me at the bottom, will go inward. And there'll be less energy in the players. Now, on an HLPA 93 and an HL94, having the line changes on makes your players slower and worse. And this game makes no difference. And all the players feel exactly the same. Now, I don't know if there's stats in this game don't think there are, so all the players feel exactly the same. You really can't underestimate how better an HLPA is than this game. Now the little bit of news that I wanted to give you guys, not in regards to this game specifically, but the channel is, in the coming weeks and months, I've had a look on my PC and I've actually got a good, I'd say, half dozen to ten, six, seven, eight, nine, ten or so, Random Mega Drive games sitting on my PC that I never did videos of. And back in the day, it was either do a one-off video and call it a classic, because the game is deemed a classic, or just I put, like, playing and then semicolon and uh, it's just a one-off video. I give a bit of information about the game and that's it. Bloody hell, look at all this. Fight instigator. <laughs> could all people it's in bin. Oh, God. Yeah, and that's that. So, the not I think one or two might be classics. I'll have a look at the critical acclaim if they were classics. I'll go in the classic series. If not, let's do a one-off video. They're easy. They're fun. People like looking at the gameplay and pe people like searching games that they love and someone talking shit about them. So we'll upload that for the channel, just one-off videos but as you saw with that third goal there in regards to this game no effort whatsoever I could bloody win this with my eyes closed now I am playing as the best team in the game Vlad's dream the Soviet Union Poland probably the worst team in the game I don't know how I don't know how they're as bad as United Kingdom there we go but regardless ladies and gentlemen yeah okay oh yeah you can hold A and then I don't look, I can change my lines during the game so sick and I have absolutely no doubt that the modern hockey games are worse than these Mega Drive games. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. More retro games to come. Uh, other games to come as well. Retro football to come. I've got a vinyl pickups coming as well. The video games will continue from the modern day. It's all popping off on the Alexander Hilly 123 channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon.